Hey there, Rich Sisters! Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Que Rica TV. I'm Erica Lasan. A couple weeks ago, I turned 28, which meant coming to terms with the undeniability of having entered my late 20s. Yes, it's a thing, and a lot of things have changed in my life. A lot of really great things are happening, um, and some really weird things are also happening. So, I figured I would create this video sharing those things with you entitled 10 things that kind of blow about entering your late 20s especially if you're a girl but guys there are a lot of things in here that apply to you too so make sure you keep watching and let's hop right into it number one let's start with the simple and obvious there is the revelation and acceptance that you are almost 30 which means that you can only rely on the cute ignorance of your youthful 20s but for so much longer. Two, you start to realize just how old you are when you frequently visit UrbanDictionary.com or you have to Google acronyms or <laughs> slang phrases to figure out what the young people are talking about these days or to simply understand the lyrics to songs that are being played on the radio. Why do I need to Google to understand what your song is trying to tell me? I mean, seriously though, what happened to the days where music just used to speak to the soul, no matter how old you were or where you were in your life? Come on! Three, the fact that you may not make it or become the star that you always hoped you'd be starts to peck at the back of your mind and your inner conscience. And as much as you hate to admit it, there is the acceptance that you may have to give up your dream and exchange for some stability. When you start to speak with people from the older generation who may not quite understand the new age hustle, they may allude to you with love or if you're super special, they may just say it outright, honey, maybe it's time for you to get a real job. As though all of those hours of work, branding, brainstorming, blood, sweat, and tears that you've invested for the past six to 10 years of your life were so that you'd end up in the same place and super close to the poverty line because, you know, we don't like to get anywhere. You know, we're just doing things for shiggles. <laughs> You spent a really good portion of your 20s fighting for your dream and chasing the dreams because let's face it, you could. You had no responsibility. But at this point in your life, it's time to put your big girl panties on and grow up. Or so they say. As you enter your late 20s, bills get real, life gets realer, and you simply can't survive off of being cute and cute alone. As much as it stinks because <laughs> We know we want to preserve all of this. Although if you're black, you're pretty lucky because you know that good black don't crack. This brings us to number four. And the fact that your wardrobe has to change, or at least it's expected to change to make you look more grown and sexy. Keep it cute, ladies. You should look as comfortable in your outfit as you look good. So for those of us who love wearing a good print, showing off a little leg, and dressing up for flirty fun, don't give up the fashion goods just because you feel like you have to grow up. There are plenty of ways to incorporate key items from your wardrobe that still show your individuality, showcase your personality, and still allow you to be professional and fun. But maybe we'll cover that in a whole different video. In the meantime, don't stop styling, ladies and gents. Number five brings us to the good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. The pressure to find Mr. or Mrs. Wright so that you can settle down, get married, start families, and then run the lives of the cute little defiant people, also known as children, becomes a real serious expectation. It's time for you to grow up. And with that, that means having babies. And if you're a girl, you're expected to have lots of them. So get your cooters ready. And if you're a lady, you're expected to have lots of them. So get those special holes ready. And if you're a lady, you're expected to have lots of them. So get your lady parts ready. And for those of us who may have already been dating our special somebody, for years before we even entered our late 20s, the eyes that begin to get bored into your relationships can be unbearable people waiting to hear when the wedding date is and if they'll be getting an invitation just becomes too much and can really add a lot of unnecessary stress to what's already a really sweet thing. Let it happen when it happens, man. Go with the flow. Not me. 
But here's the thing, in your late 20s, most 20-somethings are really just starting to figure life out for themselves. Who they are, what they want, and the realization that they don't have to apologize or ask permission to be who they are or do what they want. And as they're just figuring it out, you want to slap them with a husband or wife and some kids. It's just not right. Give us some time. Now, if you're still with me, we passed the halfway mark and we're now at number six, which brings us to one of my favorite things ever. Weddings! Now, if you're blessed enough to have found your special someone by your late 20s, then there comes the expectation of a wedding. A flashy wedding, more than likely, that people will be talking about for maybe weeks to come. And don't get me wrong, I love weddings. Like, for real, they're one of my favorite types of party to go to, but that's only because I love love. And a wedding is supposed to be a celebration of committed and unified love. And that's part of the reason why I love weddings so much. But it seems as though recently, weddings have become an excuse to have an exuberantly overpriced party that is fun and stress-free for everyone but the couple. Why should it take two years worth saving to plan an event that solidifies the love between you and your partner? As a late 20-something, there are so many other things that your budding bank accounts could go towards, especially as soon-to-be weds. Yeah, like taking time off work to travel the world together, investing in your first home, purchasing land or property overseas, or I have an even better one. Putting money aside for that child that may soon come as a result of all of the frisky feel-gooding from being high off love. Yeah, did you think about that one? Why is it just too dead on expensive? And happily ever after should not have to start with being broke. You feel me? Now that I've gotten that off my chest, this brings us to number seven. With people figuring out life and getting their ish together, many of the friends that you spent the past decade growing with are now relocating either for work or to start families of their own, leaving you lonely and attached to social media to keep up with everybody else and their lives, which most annoyingly keeps you distracted from living your own. So you may want to get off the computer after you watch this video, of course, and go out there and do something productive. All right, guys, bear with me. Only three more things to go. And if you were born with ovaries instead of testes, then number eight is for you. After age 27, whether you care or not, your biological clock starts ticking. Yes, I think it's a real thing. I don't know if it's scientifically proven, but I think I'm experiencing it right now. And the person who seems to hear that ticking the loudest is your mother. Mm-hmm. You guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. The phrase, you're not getting any younger, one that you probably never heard before your late 20s, becomes one that's often thrown into conversation. And when you go online, in your social media feeds and timelines, all of your friends seem to be having babies. And when you walk down the street, you can't even escape it. Because when you see a cute kid, all of a sudden, your uterus just starts twerking just out of nowhere, like you don't know where it comes from. It's like, oh my goodness, the cute kid, and you want one, and you start to envision yourself with a squishy little cute thing. Yeah, the biological clock is a real thing. This brings me to number nine, the oh-so-great body changes. Boys, you may want to cover your ears for this one. Under this umbrella, there are plenty of things that I want to cover, the first of which being your period and its tells changing. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, your menstrual cycle becomes unrecognizable, you're always having cramps where you may not have been before, and they're unbearable, and all of a sudden you find yourself over it. The second thing being your hormones. They're all over the place, to a point where you're always in a funk and you don't recognize your body. All of a sudden, you're hot, then you're too cold. Like seriously, right now I think I'm experiencing hot flashes, and I don't know why. It's so annoying. They say things get better as you get older. But, at age 27, your skin stops producing collagen, so enjoy that supple glow and elasticity while it lasts. And for those of you still waiting for baby fever to kick in, your fertility just dropped. Congratulations! You've already hit your baby bearing peak. So if you plan on having kids anytime soon, you may want to start getting busy, because soon things start breaking down, changing, and reversing. This is so sad. This is so depressing. 
As you approach your 30s, you try to keep your cute figure and your flirty weight. The thing is though, as you're entering your late 20s, your metabolism, bone, and muscle mass are already slowing down and preparing to head in the opposite direction. The good news though, is that you can combat these things with a little consistent exercise. So, keep hitting that gym lady, lifting those weights, working the elliptical, and working out your fitness. Things that you find when going on runs in Druid Hill Park in Baltimore. Exercise equipment, just to make sure that you're getting the full-blown workout that you- ah! Basically, do what you gotta do to keep it right and keep it tight. You know what I mean? Ultimately, you hear it time and time again. After you hit your late 20s, everything starts heading south. So, you're welcome. Early 20-somethings, you've been warned. <sighs> thing that kind of stinks about entering your late 20s which is the notion of being young wild and free being replaced with the idea of having to take yourself seriously which for me at times can be synonymous with acting like you have a stick stuck up your ass um, because you are unwilling to get messy and live life you know submitting to the fact that as humans we don't have it all figured out and that's okay there's a freedom that comes with accepting this fact and rather than focusing on trying to look good and live life the way that you feel like you should, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride because it's the most exciting ride you'll ever have. It's also the only ride you'll ever have unless you're a cat or in Indian culture, a cow. Or if you just believe in reincarnation. In conclusion, as daunting as your late 20s can be, there is a silver lining. As you approach true adulthood, each year you're growing, you grow a year wiser. And with this, you get to create whatever it is that you want. So as blah as adult life pressures can be along with biological clocks and all the yada yada yada, each solo return that you get to experience is a gift and blessing that many people don't live to see. So, each day you wake up breathing, recognize it for what it is. That itself makes every day a day worth living. But, since I said my piece and taken up all your time, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment below letting me know what things you learned in your late 20s, whether you're still in your late 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, 60s, whatever. We especially want to hear from you guys because we know that some things really do get better as you get older. And until next time, guys, I'm Erica Lasan. Live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and hit that little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Yeah, you want water, but you don't want to be. <laughs> She's climbing up my body like it's a tree. Oh, look at the water. Yeah. Not having it. You are not having it. Blueberries! Woohoo! Woo Sunny's picked one too. We've been out here for like 10 minutes. It's gonna take a long time. Ari has been playing in dirt and not being very helpful, other than being cute. Dance, 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 berries. Dance, 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 berries, 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 berries.